This is a quick review of the Clutch Benchtop Drill Press with a digital display. It has a digital readout for depth and RPM. It has a T-speed gearbox, built-in VFD, and this really handy clamp. Taking the unit out of the box and assembling it went really quickly. You're basically just taking the head unit, attaching it to the base, tightening up some grub screws. I'm actually leaving them a little loose until I align everything. Attaching the handle and installing the drill stop, which is just a rod. I like this much better than the drill stop on a traditional drill press. I bought the drill press from Northern Tool. It was around $160, and it seems to be a copy of the Bosch PBD-40. As much as I'd love to buy the Bosch unit, it was about $450 to have it shipped to the US, and it runs only on 220 volts, which really limits the portability of this drill press. The Shepak DP60 seems pretty much identical to this one, but it's only found in Europe and it's also only 220 volt. I'm using a large Forstner bit to align the drill head to the base, and now I'm tightening the grub screws. With the lower clamp loose, the entire drill head can raise and lower using the handle. If you tighten the lower handle, the drill head is just floating on a spring, and it works just like a regular drill press. This upper clamp clamps against the drill stop rod, so you won't be able to drill past that. With the drill stop released, you have about 94 millimeters of travel using the rack and pinion handle. The drill turns on and off, and you can change speeds without the main display turned on. This first button turns on the display, and pressing it again will turn the LED light on and off. The next button to the left turns on the laser crosshairs. The far left button changes the display from reading RPM. Pressing it again will change the display to millimeters, and that's a digital readout of your depth. And the next button to the right is your zero for your depth reading. On the right side, there's a knob for changing the gear ratio from high to low range. And on the left is a guide for setting the drill speed. The base of the drill press has a little V groove in it for holding round objects. I really love the clamp. I think that's the best feature of this drill press. The drill press comes with this miter gauge, which just drops in place and it has some square nuts to clamp it to the table. The clamp mechanism on this drill press is amazing. It's so much faster and easier than a traditional drill press. Done. This is the bottom of the plinth and there's a lot of sharp edges from casting. Definitely want to go through this with a deburr tool or a scotch bright pad to knock these down. It's leaving a lot of scratches on my workbench. I haven't used this type of chuck before, but it's definitely not as easy as the chuck on my cordless drills. This requires two hands because the motor doesn't offer enough resistance as you're tightening the chuck. Good news is it's easily removable if you wanted to go back to a traditional keyed chuck. You might want to turn the volume down. This is where we test how loud the drill is, and I'm holding the meter about 9 inches away, where my head would normally be if I were using it. Now I'm switching from high range to low range. At its highest speed, it is pretty obnoxious. I'd say it's like a Vitamix blender on high, but at 1500 RPM, I think the noise is totally manageable. I'm guessing inside are some straight cut metal gears, and that's why it's so noisy. And just for comparison, I'm holding the sound meter about the same distance away, and we'll see how loud my old school drill press is. I can't tell you how nice it is to just be able to turn a knob to change the speed of my drill press. To change speeds on this drill press, you have to loosen the motor, Sometimes this belt needs to go 
under this one, so you have to take the belts off. These are the different pulley configurations to get the different speeds. You only get 12 to select from. And if you're changing speeds for one drill operation, this is a whole lot of effort to go through. Another advantage I found for this claw clamp is it prevents wood shavings from flinging everywhere. Here I'm going to test the accuracy of the laser crosshairs. I'd say it's not very accurate. I didn't see a way to adjust them. Looks like the runout is plus or minus four thou or eight thou total. I'm sure a lot of people will be picking this thing apart saying it's got sloppy bearings and the motor's really noisy. But keep in mind it's a $160 tool. The motivation in buying this was just to have something portable that I can drill square holes with and not have to walk back to my workshop every time. Not to mention having such a quick and easy way to clamp material while I'm drilling. There are a few quality issues like this e-clip that doesn't have a groove. This isn't going to replace a heavy duty drill press, but for light duty work, compared to the alternatives, I think this ticks a lot more boxes. This drill press is small and light enough, I can just store it on a shelf and pull it out when I need to, almost as easily as a cordless drill. It weighs in just under 21 pounds. The motor kind of looks like something you'd see on an angle grinder. The motor is obviously a brushed motor. It's rated 700 watts. Looks like there's a Hall Effect speed sensor on the back of the motor so the VFD can maintain a constant speed under load. There's a plastic gear there for the rack and pinion. All the structural parts look like they're cast aluminum and pretty rigid. Here's the LEDs and the laser lines. I don't see a way to adjust them. It looks like they're just held in with a grub screw. It's kind of weird to see a transformer used to supply a control voltage. Here's the encoder strip for the digital readout for depth. Looks like there is a sealed bearing up there supporting the shaft. All right, that about wraps it up. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below and I'll try and answer them. Uh, this is an unpaid review. I'm not sponsored, so that's my honest feedback here. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more videos.